we have permission over here to take a friend's home. She says it was built in the 60s. And I don't know how old the property itself is, but it goes way back in here. Um, Dave's over by another building. Car's in the way, her car. Um, we've dug around here and over by the pond, which is out this direction. And I did find a few things today. Uh, Dave found, I think he said a dime and um, some pennies. I think the 60s, 64 penny, Lincoln penny. Um, the last thing I dug was sort of interesting. A minute here. Whoops. Found a dime. Dime and nickel. Sorry about that. There we go. Get it focused in. Having focus problems today. And um, I believe it was a pin and there was a place on the back where the pin sticker part was. All right. It's another lovely day and it is the, let's say 27th or 28th of April, 2016. Came up from here, this driveway, and that goes up to the main road. I've got my AT Pro, Garrett AT Pro, and Dave has an older Garrett. I don't remember the model number or what it was, but it was it's an older one and it pretty good with discrimination and everything. So anyway, I'm, I just dug a hole here and that's where the pin came from. After this, I think we're going to go hit a bottle dump. As I said, it's a beautiful, beautiful day. Just perfect for metal detecting. There's a little breeze. And uh, we trucked along this walkway right here and we did find some regular clad coins. You know, pennies mostly, I think a dime. I found the nickel and the dime that I found um, over the other direction and I didn't get a clear date on them. Dave's detector in the distance. I don't know how old this whole property really was. There is, excuse me. Here he is. Find anything? Nothing at all, huh? Alright, we'll be back. <laughs> 